The Household of God Church has joined other Christian churches to mark this year's Easter celebrations. In line with the theme of the season, the senior pastor of the church, Reverend Chris Okoche, says Nigeria can appropriate by faith the acceleration that comes with the resurrection of Jesus from the grave to engender a new order in the country. It's the very essence of the Christian faith a time that resonates and reenacts an event never again seen, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is marked all over the world during the Easter celebration, and here at the Kedja Auditorium, members of the Household of God Church are not left out. starts with the faith that connects to the resurrection power that raised Jesus, which is demonstrated here in the lyrics of songs, vigorously raised, the charge and the declarations. It doesn't matter what the rules and the regulations are. Faith will transcend any barrier. I came here to tell somebody that. I don't know what your fears are, your insecurities are, but faith is a vehicle that goes through every barrier. The book of John's Gospel in the 20th chapter formed the fulcrum of the day's sermon, which underscores the essence of Jesus' resurrection. If you go to any other tomb, the carcass is still in that place. But go to the tomb of Jesus. He is not there. He is not there. The program packed service also witnessed the dedication of some babies, a playlet, and cutting of cake. In a short but captivating sentence, the senior pastor wraps up the service with these words. Abundance, prosperity, anything that we desire is possible because our faith is predicated on the finished work of the cross. It is vindicated by the resurrection from the dead and then it is crystallized when we personally appropriate his blood through faith. And that is what the celebration is about. It's, um, this is a very, very auspicious season and I believe that we can take advantage of this season and ask God to touch our nation in a very special way and he definitely will. Happy Easter celebrations. <laughs> Olu Phillips, Channel Television News. Hello and welcome to World Sports News. Manchester United's under-23 squad player Tosin Akendi has made his sights on, set his sights on playing for Nigeria and has already made moves to become a super ego. The 19-year-old was born in Lagos but raised in the UK and is eligible to play for both Nigeria and England. The player who was accompanied has met Nigerian Football Federation officials last weekend in London to start the process of formalizing his Nigerian football status. And former Leicester City manager Nigel Pearson and Craig Shakespeare are among the early frontrunners front to replace Alan Pardew as West Bromwich head coach. Pardew left the Baggies by mutual consent earlier today with the club bottom of the English Premier League on 20 points, 10 points adrift of safety with six matches remaining. And Sevilla head coach Vincenzo Montella is confident the UEFA Champions League underdogs can upset Bayern Munich in Tuesday's night quarterfinal tie. After a dramatic start to their season, winning their opening four matches, the Andalusian team have slipped to sixth in La Liga but have managed to recover their excitement by knocking out Manchester United from the Champions League in the round of 16. And that's it on Sports Since for tonight. I'm Barong Tony Ranta and Ladi will be back with the wrap. And the main news again, former President Olusha Gombasanjo again took a swipe at the Buhari administration today when he insisted that the government has failed Nigerians. However, the presidency said the comments by the former president do not reflect reality. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks for being with us. My name is Ladi Akiri Dolu Ali. Good night.